Facts First presents A man was hiking in the Smoky Mountains when he stumbled across a seriously creepy discovery. Before we get into this video, tell us what the creepiest thing is you've ever found. Maybe in the forest or exploring an old house? Tell us in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Jordan Lyles has a passion for photography. His hero is a legendary filmmaker and actor, Sir Charlie Chaplin. You may have heard of him. Lyles is a director himself, but he is most well known for his photographs of abandoned places. And when it comes to abandoned locations in the United States, there are plenty of them. As America has evolved over the years, many places didn't. Some places are left abandoned because they had prosperous beginnings but then failed to prosper in the years following. That's left these places abandoned and damaged – ghost towns, if you will. Some places are left behind for more sinister reasons. One example is the Lake Shawnee Amusement Park located in West Virginia. It was built in the 1920s on the site of an ancient indigenous burial ground. Shortly after the amusement park opened, six people died. Many people believed it had something to do with spirits on the fairgrounds. After these deaths, the amusement park was left abandoned and in disrepair. Today, the only visitors of the site are people looking to get scared on Halloween. Jordan stumbled upon one of his creepiest finds in 2013. The site is Elkmont, Tennessee, and it's hidden deep within the woodlands of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Jordan is a Memphis native, and he'd been to the Smokies plenty of times. He lived in the area for 26 years, and he still visits this park often when he has time. And it was during one of his hiking expeditions that he found something incredible. During Jordan's trip, he went up an unnamed gravel road, and at the end of the road he found an abandoned neighborhood and a hotel. Some of the buildings had been built over a hundred years ago. One of the first structures that he came across was an abandoned cabin. It may have once been cozy, but today it's just an empty shell. When Jordan got closer to the cabin, he noticed that the windows were broken and the floorboards were pulled up. The cabin didn't look safe at all. He did not want to go inside. In his video, he is heard saying, I don't really think I want to go in there. It looks like the kitchen is on a slant, which means the property is not in good condition. From the outside, he could see decaying shelves and toppled containers all over the floor. After leaving the cabin, Jordan continued to explore. He went through some nearby trees and then down a set of stone steps. He saw another home. Inside, there was a washer and dryer that had turned upside down on the broken floorboards. It was difficult to tell how long it had been since anybody lived there. He was sure the abandoned town had much more to see, he just needed to keep exploring. As Jordan continued exploring, he found another house. This one had steps, and it was missing many of its walls. There was a screen installed to replace the missing planks. The screens were torn and tattered, and the screen made it possible for him to get a good look inside. There was some old furniture in the house along with broken fixtures. The walls were stripped down to the bare wood and loose planks. Any doors that were once in the home are now gone. As Jordan walked down this gravel road, he came upon three more houses. It looked as though vandals had broken into one of them. There was a lock that had been smashed, leaving the doors wide open. This house was not in such disrepair, though. Entering wouldn't be too dangerous. This home was in much better shape than the previous ones, and there were still blinds hanging from some of the windows. There was also a shower curtain hanging in the rust-filled tub. The toilet had a matching seat cover. The bathroom was filthy, but it was in much better shape than the other houses in this ghost town. Jordan came upon a large structure that he thought could have been a hotel at one time. There was an enormous stone fireplace behind plenty of large windows. He assumed that it was a social area or the reception area. The stairs had collapsed, so he couldn't go upstairs to check out the rooms. Finally, when Jordan came upon a sign, he figured out what the town used to be called. It was once the Wonderland Club, which was a very prosperous vacation community. When it was built, the owner chose this site because it was close to a busy logging town. It was opened to the public in 1912 and operated for seven years before private owners purchased the land and the structures. The idea was for a group of men from Knoxville, Tennessee to create their own private venture. Unfortunately, the plans were rejected. 
Instead, they created an exclusive social club called the Wonderland Club. In 1925, the logging industry in the area died, though, and people couldn't afford to visit the Wonderland Club. Soon, the buildings fell into disrepair. Jordan is shocked that he somehow stumbled onto an entire vacation property accidentally. Fortunately, he had his camera with him and he was able to get some amazing shots. This is just one of America's many abandoned properties. If you look hard enough, you never know what you're going to find. Subscribe for more!